A new report has revealed small businesses have used their tax cuts to hire people, but very few actually increased wages. It's a blow to the government, which argues their proposed business tax cut will end up in the pockets of workers. Jonathan Lee reports from Canberra. Ask a small business where their 2015 tax cut went. Pretty much just put it straight back in business. You need to put it back into the company to make growth. For the first time, data shows just how it's been spent. Half improved cash flow. 27% of business owners paid for things. Almost 20% hired workers, but very few increased wages. The yeah, small businesses are doing it tough. The average amount of money that a small business has got as a, as a result of this uh, is $2,900, I think, from memory. So that's not an awful lot of money. The big result in this is that Australian firms who got a tax cut did employ more workers, but they didn't raise their wages. That torpedo Scott Morrison and Malcolm Turnbull's lies about this company tax handout. A business that is uh, more successful and more profitable uh, will hire more people. The government's takeaway argument is its tax cut would be even more successful for big business but with its changes still locked in the Senate the legislation looks well thoroughly cooked. When big business and small business work together the whole country thrives. Big business, though, maintains the economy is being hamstrung by excessive tax. There's no doubt that we have got to face up to the fact that we're not growing at the rate we should be. Today, the PM pledged $155 million in a pre-budget cash splash for a new bridge in Nowra, south of Sydney, but won't say how billions of dollars in unexpected revenue will be spent on budget night. We are managing the budget with great care and with great responsibility, believe me. With an election looming and some old-fashioned pork barrelling to fund, bringing the budget back to surplus sooner, maybe a bridge too far. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.